the uh, afternoon, night, morning. Hi from Russia, sir. Привет. Cześć, dobry wieczór, dobry dzień. Why or why did they force everyone to use a Wii U for an NES game? I don't have a clue. I was going for you all the way. Did you car? Well, things happen, right? Things happen. Uh, my Wii U just arrived in the mail 10 minutes ago. Oh, you bought, you bought a, a Wii U. You know, I have one, but you know, I'm gonna get to the big screen. I'm gonna get to the big screen. Let's just move to TMR to the big screen. Yay! You wanna see TMR in the big screen? Wow. How you doing? Well, I'm not sure if that's right. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, so <clears throat> got the gold one. Where's the shirt? Oh, it's cute. So, guys, I don't know what to do with the shirt exactly. It's one of the 16 shirts that were made for the participants. It would be really great if they could have put our name like in the other side or something with gold, but yeah. You know what is the funny thing about this? Nintendo World Championship shirt. The funny thing is this. Look at this, guys. If you look the label, it says... Oh, you cannot see. Well, anyway, it says made in Mexico there. It says made in Mexico. 100% cotton made in Mexico. I'm not sure if the other shirts are made in Mexico, probably they are. <laughs> but yeah, that is the funny thing. Hey, Rodrigo Andrade, thanks for the host. Frame the shirt. Well, I don't know, but you know, honestly, I believe that if I wash it, this will come off. So... It still smells like TMR in a tournament. <laughs> Uh, both. I I, I, don't, I I really don't have a clue what to do with the shirt. Uh, frame it. Well, I don't know how how they frame a shirt, and it's gonna be a huge frame, so I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll just put it in my closet or something like that. I, I don't have a clue. I mean, it it, it is. Pretty awesome to have it here in my streaming room. Not gonna lie. TMR Shark is last don donator. Well, I I don't have a clue if the shark is the last donator. Let me bring the the stream tip alerter, just in case we. G oh, now I I understand why you're asking that. Yeah, I, for I forgot that they're in the bottom were those things. <laughs> it was like, the last donator? Why? <laughs> now I get it. They do not put it... Uh, well... Bullet Will says... Turn the shirt inside out. Put it in a pillowcase. Tie the pillowcase. Then... Wash it. On gentle in cold water in a pillowcase. Okay, that that sounds like something. Uh, in the opium, no, I, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't get to shake Nijamato's hand. Only Cosmo and and John Numbers. Only those two. But uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> one year sub hype says the says. Who's the one year sub hype? Oh, Cadron. What's wrong, what's wrong with the with the notifier? Welcome oh, there it is. Welcome well, Cadron! <coughs> happy birthday, man. Thank you for one year. 
Supporting the wave! Calderon, thank you so much. Exactly, man. Hype. Uh, Nesmania today. Both sides. Uh, yeah, I can do Nesmania. The problem is I, I still have to do some highlights. So while I answer the questions about the tournament and stuff like that. And will I pack the Wii U because I'm not going to play anymore the Wii U. In a long time, I mean, since I have Nesmania. I got some games as well from people who I was not able to show on stream. So I'm going to just do that. I have some videos, but I need to go for my cable to, to show them on, I mean, on the computer, I guess. I have some pictures as well. TMR, the championships were awesome, but they didn't show you guys on camera very closely until only Cosmo and John were left. Well, Cadron, I had nothing to do with it. Uh, but um, but I think the tournament was awesome as a, an experience. Even if I didn't get uh, far enough in the tournament, uh, <coughs> nice girl, <coughs> nice guy, small balls. We didn't have the um, we didn't have in our team uh, a roller guy. The rollers are so overpowered, like compared to the to the shotgun junior. Uh, Weapon, are you Mexican? Yeah, hey, in, in Panda, uh, in Pandeu, I am. But RNG on those Nintendo World Championships, yeah, I also didn't got the the, the bombs, and pff, you know, I didn't knew if you shake the controller. I mean, somebody told me that if you press the trigger in the Wii U, it will it will pop up the menu. I mean, they explain me later what happened. But, you know, I was playing like this, like da 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 and I shake the controller. Just a normal reaction, something like that happened. Were you expecting more of a portfolio of Nintendo, or did you know it will be more newer marketing? Uh, I, 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 I knew it, I was expecting to be new market, marketing, newer marketing, because... Uh, I mean, come on, it's impossible for Nintendo like just to hold a tournament with retro games or something like that. It's just impossible. I mean, it's not uh, like these days. It's not a good strategy, I guess, for them. Like uh, if they should just show the retro games, like man, the people might enjoy it. Yeah, as a tournament, but. It's not gonna be like, oh, I want to play this game, or they're not showing their games, their newer games, that they put some effort into it, so, yeah. Almost every game someone went into the menu, so it was a big problem. Well, I, I even the participants, they told me, you know, I work in a shop or something like that, and I still have that problem, you know, like from time to time it just pop out the menu and I was like, well, okay, uh, thank you, uh, I don't feel bad now. <laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, it, when it was the, the time of Balloon Fight, if you think about it, there was the first, uh, first was the, I mean, the Zelda game in the loser's bracket, uh, then was the Super Metroid game. So I was expecting or to be Mario 64 or something for the N64. And then suddenly You even died there. Uh, yeah, I did die there, Killer Miller. Uh, what are my thoughts? Well, you, I mean, I, I really feel some pressure. Uh, I didn't thought like uh, pretty much uh, like like the guys I was competing with in that Zelda I mean I, I I told them about the bomb so but I think none of them practiced exactly the route with the bomb very well so I didn't talk thought about it uh, I was just more nervous than anything and I I forgot that I was competing against them because probably the speedrunners knew the route but uh, some of those guys didn't knew the route and, uh, and well you know 
I feel bad blaming the D pad on the Wii U, but um, it cost me a little bit, like, in terms of execution, it was moving strange. Uh, but yeah, some things like that happen. Uh, I don't feel too bad. Uh, of course, you when you join a tournament, uh, you know that uh, you can fail, you can just get out of the tournament in early stages or later stages. Uh, I feel they should have had set so the virtual console menu was disabled by default. I don't know if that is possible, but uh, but even for Nintendo, I mean, like. It, if they plan any other event from all these little things or unfortunately things that happen, they can learn like to make something better. Like if they ever lose the same. Timar, you were saying you can win or lose, man. Exactly like the raffles, man. You can win or lose. Nothing else than that. Yeah, the the problem, Kadrom. Uh, Sinister one told me that the, uh, I mean, told us that the buttons in the in the Wii pad uh, the buttons right here like were like uh, inverted or something like that so he was messing up a little bit like uh, trying to figure out which one was which um, I knew I knew Sinister One would win that one because uh, uh, the other guys none of them was a speedrunner and you know Sinister One <laughs> Just a speedrunner of that game, or at least has a very good reasonable time, under one hour, I think, for any percent. So, so yeah, that that was very unfair for the other participants. But actually, was Mitzi, Misty, Misty make really great job. Uh, Misty was was the guy with the sunglasses. He was the, the the second place in Super Metroid. Uh, he did a, he did really great. He did really great. That guy, you know, I I told him, listen, you know, to me, you won. I mean, Sinister One knew already the game, the escape, and everything. Of course, you know, uh, he got like the controller until you get used to. It, but other than that, he had no problem winning that. Uh, but that guy uh, was like really blind playing against the others and not blind playing. I mean, like I'm sure they, they will have played uh, Super Metroid in their lives, but uh, he did really great. And he was not that uh, far behind the sinister one. Timar, back to the shirt. You can get a box frame and they wash it, it to maintain it. That shit is probably worth about 5,000 easy on eBay. Well, enemy core, I really don't think I will sell the shirt. Like, you know, just. Even if it's 5,000, it just doesn't sound attractive to me. He has 53 and any percent. Thank you, Feli. So, yeah, um. <clears throat> So you know, even even if I will have won the Zelda thing, I was gonna go against Sinister and the rest of the people in Metroid thing. So I don't think I will have won over Sinister, just because as the other people, I will have been shooting missiles to the mother brain, and I don't know exactly how much health do I need to get rid of and stuff like that. The has covered a triangle. <laughs> well, Kadron, that sounds really great. Uh, cover a triangle door. No, I'm not gonna sell it. Don't sell it until about the decade or two when price is 100x. Well, you know, <laughs> I was saying to the people, this, these shirts are so easy to replicate. Of course, you know, if I will be selling it myself, the people will know that it's a legit one, but these shirts are very easy to replicate. <laughs> Just saying. Because of their BS Platoon advertisement. Which speedrunners will even play that? Well, you know. <clears throat> talking about that. I think Sinister One got really lucky in that. Uh, in the team he had. <laughs> 
Well, I, I did practice Splatoon, I did beat the game, so I was not blind playing the game, but, but yeah, the, there were some people probably who didn't play that much that game. Um, yeah, the, the, the luck that they had, like getting into the roller team, uh, the guys who with the rollers, which were more experienced, of course, uh, that uh, made it. I think Bananas uh, did practice that one. Bananas, uh, she was having a roller, so I think she she really deserves to pass that first round. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the people; they knew exactly which weapons they had. What did you do like in your free time? Well, Arizona Cat, I just arrived to the hotel, then I connected the Wii U, then I had to go for the meeting. I actually had first a, a, a meal with Trihex and Mr. Blorney. How well do you think you will have done at Smash? Well, I don't know what is the practice of Trihex, but I, I think the same as Trihex. So, you know, I played the Smash in the 64 and John Numbers actually was telling me about Smash before before the tournament. He was like showing me like what were the controllers in this one. We didn't know it was going to be there, but uh, not in the Wii U, but he showed me in his 3DS. Uh, like the movement, uh, he was showing me the range of the characters, like how they can come back and, and all that stuff. So, basically... <sighs> I know how to play Smash in N64 and it is a little bit similar, but yeah, that, that, that would have been a really hard one for me. Mario Kart... I... I have... Mario Kart 8. I, I bought it. I had the feeling that game was gonna be there. I, we didn't knew the games, but I had the feeling that game was gonna be there. I didn't have too much time to practice, but at least I got familiarized with the controllers and... And stuff like that so I probably will have done the same that Cosmo I actually asked Cosmo you know I told him oh I, I play Mario Kart a little bit and you know just in case oh, well I don't know Mario Kart <laughs> Cosmo told me but uh, and I, yeah I think he didn't make like really great in that Mario Kart uh, but he got lucky in the balloon fight <laughs> but not lucky yeah, John completely killed it during Mario Maker, that is true. Uh, the huge difference that I noticed in the very f I, four minutes of each player, uh, of Cosmo and John Numbers, was... Uh, John Numbers knew about the mechanics of Mario, Mario 1, Mario 3. Cosmo didn't. Like, Cosmo was not... When he started, like, the first minute, he was not even running or pressing the wrong button. And, uh, you know, you saw John Numbers, like, straight away from starting, like, broom, like a speedrunner. So, I honestly didn't think uh, Cosmo will come back. I, I really didn't have faith. Just because of that, I, I, I saw, like, the huge difference in knowledge. Uh, but, you know, Cosmo did really great as well. You know, the dodges that Cosmo was doing. There were some like, uh, where was the big guy throwing the hammers that he got lucky twice to pass over it because it's so easy to get killed or the guy just jumping and, and hitting you or stunning you in the in the ground. He just passed like like a boss. Uh, in the other hand, John Numbers in that specific part with the shell, uh, he... I mean, he knew what was the enemy ahead or what was like his behavior, so he knew that he has to, to, to shoot him or hit him. Oh, well, this is my brother. Bueno. ¿Qué onda, Mark? Bien, bien, bien.
Okay, sorry, we're back. So that was my brother. Uh, um, so, guys, Telemundo on silencio. <laughs> you mind making a, a drug deal? No, I was just talking to my brother. What music is this from? Well, I don't remember if we have the command. Oh, th there it is, the playlist. So just check out the world there, you URL and you can you can see which music is from this one is Elite Ferrex called a uh, stronger what did everyone thinks of the call saying H box I work 16 hours you play 16 hours of smash I thought it was a little rude to say well in the meantime we got a message Well, um, oh, hold on a second. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back and open this and put the message here. And why is not loading my chat? Okay, we have a message. Hi, TMR. Your shirt is so cool. Is it possible to buy a concert manual shirt? You want a concert manual shirt? Well, you know. There is only one problem, all the shirts that are gonna be for sale are gonna be black. I am sorry. There is no way I can get color shirts here in Mexico at all. What's wrong with the chat? Well, this looks bad. Oh, finally entered the chat. Okay, there it is. Now we have the chat. Uh, it was friendly smack talk. Each box started it anyway. What? I want a console manual shirt. Yep, so uh, you want a pink one. Well, you know, I have only a few of, of, of the color ones, and those ones I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a monthly raffle for the subscribers. Uh, actually, I, I still don't know how exactly to do it. Maybe I might I might do like every I don't know 15 subscribers or 10 like get a raffle of the subscribers to get a shirt or something like that. It just I, I am not sure exactly how I will do that, but I have clear that you know the color shirts are not gonna be for sale. Uh, I'm just not gonna give them to the. What did Reggie say? Well, Mario Bros. Reggie said, uh, "Guys, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, you all guys are awesome. Uh, it is a pleasure having you here. And yeah, keep it up, or something like that." He said. He just talked to us like two minutes, uh, not too much. That was behind the scenes, uh, and it was pretty cool, honestly. Just uh, he's a very cool dude, Reggie. <laughs> Did you have any good Mexican food in LA? Well, Arizona Cat, I normally don't travel just to have a Mexican food. So in LA, I was eating burgers in Smash Burgers or something like that. Burger Smash. I don't remember what is the name of the of the play uh, of, of the place. Uh, I, wa I was with Trihex and Mr. Blurney. Regis Safraud. No, he's not. He's a legit guy, he's... I mean... The, the same way you see him on, on the TV and everything, he's just exactly the same. He's just exactly the same. Smash Burger is good. Yeah, I had Smash Burger. Um, <laughs> I just had an experience with Smash Burger. It was really fun, it's just... Oh, do you have some jalapeno? Yeah, I can add some extra jalapeno. Like so she put the extra jalapeno, I mean, on the computer or the tablet or whatever she was inputting the order. May I have your name? And I was like, Don't you know who I am? No. Uh, well, I just give my name. But anyway, so once I opened the burger, you know, to put like more uh, ketchup and other stuff, I noticed that they put two slices of a raw jalapeno green pepper of a raw one it was not even fried or or you know with onion or like i don't know marinated welcome, welcome to the mexican, mexican way. 
Razil Mutant. Welcome to the Taquito family. Now you have a like very it. big taco next to your username. Use it wisely and use the modes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, so man, they, they just chop it like uh, it was so disgusting to have those jalapenos there. I was like, man, in every single burger place in Mexico, they fry the jalapenos with the with some onion, and it's just a really nice taste, stronger and mm, it tastes so good. But that one was like, oh, you want jalapeno? <laughs> And they just put it on the burger, man. Who wants that? We need vids. Well, I have them in my phone, so I need I need the cable to connect it to my computer. Unless I transfer it to Dropbox. No, actually, I, I think I have a good speed, so... Shouldn't be that bad. Um, well, the thing is that there's too many things, so probably it's easier just to connect the phone. The four of you guys flexing on Twitter was a yeah that was really great but there is another one uh, there's another oh you cannot see well hold on a second let me just take out my Welcome move my webcam Welcome 19 modes to the Mexican race. Gitman Mer Mercy no it's not Mercy it's, it's Pasiva man it's Pasiva thank you so much really. Gidman is my Russian friend, uh, he's awesome, he has been in rape mode the uh, Boshi twice, I think. Uh, he's very cool streaming video games as well. He normally does his streaming Russian, but Gidman, thank you so much for all the love. Thank you, man, 19 months. You're the, you're the man, you're the man. Well, uh, I'm supposed to bring this, I guess. Oh yeah, so now you can see Twitter. TMR, sorry if this was asked already. If you won the Zelda challenge, you think you would have won the Metroid 1? Uh, nobody has asked that uh, DJ Eric and I guess no, man. There was no way unless I would have no like the speedrunner strat for that, you know. Even if I would have beaten Mother Brain, I was gonna go jumping instead of going uh, dashing and then getting the super jump I was gonna fail it like that so yeah uh, this picture is the is one that you have not seen this one is amazing guys you know that is Trikex and TMR fighting and Sinister One was the referee <laughs> well I noticed that I screwed up in the in the tweet I put heart with the with H at the end I always get confused with, with health and heart, uh, so that picture is amazing, man. so you can retweet it if you want to share it with some people, because that picture is amazing, really is awesome, that picture just, <laughs> you know, Sinister One was just smiling all the time because uh, he couldn't, uh, I mean, you cannot see Trahek's face, face exactly from the front. <laughs> Look his face, man! <laughs> that was really... Oh my god, man. his face was really awesome. Uh, the camera didn't catch that. There in the back we have a... Banana's boyfriend. But yeah, this picture is... Is gold, man. So I, ha I have some more pictures. Uh, there is some in my Twitter uh, as well. I think. There is one with I am with... This person, you might know him, Mr. Cosmo Wright. <laughs> so, well, I'm I'm gonna go to to gra grab my phone, my phone, my cable, so I can show you like the videos and other stuff that I have. You didn't even use the control properly, the controller properly, but can it or? Shit happens, man. Shit happens. <laughs> Congrats on the World Championship. I was yelling at your TV like in a sport event. Man, even my brother told me the same. Like, he was, you know, like, watching with his uh, wife and, and kids. And, and yeah, like, they were really hype and everything. 
it didn't work out too, too well for me, but uh, when we're the championship this Sunday, the ultimate Bohab, this Sunday we're the championships. I'm gonna go for the cable for the telephone, so you can actually see, and you know the pictures I have. I, I got eliminated like in the first round, something like that. But yeah, it was it was cool. So I'm gonna be right back. Hold on a second. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, Well, so I, I guess I will start with the with the pictures from the beginning. Yeah, let's just see the pictures of the championship. Let me just put something here. Nintendo World Champ. So something like for the people there, the, who is entering, so they can have an idea. Pictures. There it is. Okay, uh, why do you have so many pictures of Orlando Bloom? I don't know, man. Don't know. Okay, let's just see. Oh, that is another one. I think I tweet this one. What were your talks on Mario Maker? It's awesome, <laughs> just it's really awesome. Uh, actually, somebody BJ BJ X BJ X I think it's BJ X his name. One of the participants. Uh, he was saying that it would be really awesome if the people who build the maps they can like uh, upload it uh, and so other people can play them and you know like having a leaderboard or something like that of of the of those maps created or, or you know stage created so the people can can play it so it's like a like a like favorite uh, levels or stages uh, for the people to play it will be really awesome. So I, I I think those ones are very amazing. The the Mario Maker, it is really awesome because you can pick like physics. Uh, not not all of them are le exactly legit because uh, the kind of Mario one 
you can jump on the on the turtles and and still do a high jump, which that was on Mario 3 first. In Mario 1, you couldn't do that. But um, but I mean, but other than some technical things like that, it looks awesome, man. It looks awesome. Uh, what sh gift did I get? Well, the shirt of participating in the event and the uh, a DK bag. I got a Donkey Kong bag. And I got this Joshi. Yeah. Yeah. So those were the things I got from Nintendo. I had no idea he was in it until my husband told me right before it started. I've missed his last handful of streams, so you had no idea. Well, little Neko Chan, you can also follow in Twitter. So even if you don't have, uh, if you have not seen the stream, you can get like latest news of TMR. Was it a long flight? Well, I had to to do scale once uh, in Houston International Airport and then to LA so yeah there were some it, it was it was a long way so this was in Houston International it was a Fender a Fender guitar with some I mean I took it mainly because of my brother I think it would be interesting for my brother to see this one I had a group of friends in NYC cheering on you on. You had tons of styles on stage. Well, I really would like to see, you know, how I entered to the stage because, you know, I, I know I know what I did, but, uh, you know, I would like to see how it was looking in the camp. <laughs> it would be awesome. You make new friends. Yeah, man. Just like ev everyone from the championship was like, uh, you know, like, like the first day everyone was like, not like that, but uh, you know, like nobody knew each other. But it was like a like a big brother thing. They just put us like for 20 hours in the same room with the same people. So we were there, and of course we end up being friends a lot. I actually invited a lot of the people just to check out my stream. So so we might expect some of the contestants to just jump in here, like uh, from time to time. It looks like pure smooth smoothness. <laughs> well, you know, I was talking with my brother like uh, <laughs> I, I I was not sure if 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 br bring the hat, the Mexican hat there to to the tournament, you know, just because like maybe they will not be uh, allowing me to have it or something but in the other hand i was thinking you know but there's the guards with the cap so and also it doesn't have a label my my cap my my hat so they they really don't have a reason and that would be like unique because i'm the mexican runner and you know i use that hat from time to time even on stream so yeah i decided find, uh, to, to br bring the hat so yeah well I was undecided in the airport if it's at La Salsa Pronto, Fresh Mexican Grill or Wendy's, but that day I end up having, uh, what was the name? I end up having Subway. That was the... In Houston International it was just... It was like that, raining. Buenas noches, the mukes. Hey, TMR, did you get to meet Shingeru Miyamoto? Uh, no, I didn't go to meet Shingeru Miyamoto. But I will meet him one day, hopefully. <laughs> gracias, the mukes, gracias. That, that was really a nice view there uh, from the airplane. 
that was really close to to LA. In fact, I think that is LA. Uh, because if you see in a Google map, you see that mountain behind LA uh, in the north part. So it was really it was really good. I think the picture is good. So how awful was we Euclid TMR old speedrunner seems to have issues with it. <laughs> well uh, welcome, welcome It was welcome, a little bit strange. Welcome to the Mexican way. Oh, that is hurrying. Why is not getting bigger? Well, it's not getting bigger. Oh wow, that was amazing, man! The best entrance in the world, right? Well, that was really great. And that is bananas. Yay! This is amazing. I'm gonna save this because I really would like to see that. Well, now it's kind of over, oh, unless I refresh. What kind of dance is that? It's a Mexican dance, man! What? Come on, Twitch! Well, <laughs> well, that was it, man. <sighs> well, I don't know what happened. And I don't know still what's going on, but whatever. That was the entrance, guys. So if you got it to see it, you you see it. Sorry about the dead right at the end of cell life. Well, it's fine. It's fine. You know, just it's fine. Anyway, I was gonna get out into the other one with Sinister, but yeah, that could handle that also. <laughs> Well, that's a very good picture, I can see. I want to delay that. And that. Okay, here we are. The guy, the LA guy, is a... Uh, Eli. Eli, that is the guy. So here is all the participants just before the... One day before the actual tournament. So I, ju I was just taking some pictures there. Yeah, I don't know how to do the gifts, so if somebody can help with that, that I think it would be really amazing. Hey, was Nintendo picking you for the NWC your biggest gaming moment? I mean... <laughs> Probably not my biggest gaming moment, but uh, like the biggest accomplishment as a gamer, I will say that yeah. Like I mean, being called from Nintendo to participate right there, it's just awesome. Really, it's just awesome. So that, that's what I think. You know. Oh, that was the hotel room. They. <laughs> <laughs> there is a funny story about here. Uh, the room, as you can see, is a double room. So, the reason that was double is because my real name, I have three names and two surnames. So they saw the name too long, they thought there, it was two people, so they gave me a, a double one. <laughs> it was really fun, that. ¿Quién de los participantes? Te llevaste mejor, le agarraste las pompis a Bananas. <laughs> no, Bananas has a, a boyfriend, but no, you know, I was hanging out with everyone. Uh, I think, I think with everyone, you know, I was, you know, pro probably with numbers was the one that I was talking like more <laughs> with the winner, but. Uh, but also Mr. Blarney, uh, Blackson Jackson was a cool dude, you know, honestly, I like that guy a lot. Uh, 
like a funny dude. Uh, Trackhex was uh, as well very nice to, to be there, hanging out with him. You know, like uh, I met him at the HDQ 2014. And I share a few words with him, but this time uh, we had a, like a, a, a Twitter group, but nobody was replying anything. It was only Trihex and me replying there. So we were like hanging out, like, "Hey, are we gonna go for something to?" Eat? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. You know, like, okay, in ten minutes in the lobby. Yeah. So I, I really had a. a a uh, good uh, chatting with Trihex uh, and you know with the competitors as well you just it was it were, we had you know we had all the time in the world there like the, the time was not moving so we really were talking about everything games a lot of stuff that was the the view from the window in the hotel <laughs> blame them no I'm not gonna blame them you know every I like it yeah, your numbers one, definitely. That was... I mean, I don't know what's wrong now with me taking pictures, but yeah, that was... I like that that place there, and the night was looking awesome, you know, it's the very first time in my life I see... I have never been like in New York in the night time, but I believe it's similar to this. It's just a lot of uh, skyscrapers and... And uh, those like TVs and everything like really connected, all those TV connected, it was really awesome. Hotel ESPN. <laughs> and what? Well, TMR, were you able to see the announce that a red collection is coming, Xbox One with Battletoads included? Uh, no, I was not able to see that. Probably that is in the E1, E3, sorry. So I, I, I didn't have the chance, but. It would be awesome to see a trailer or something of that. It has Battletoads Arcade too, wow! That definitely is gonna be really fun to play in Xbox for, for a lot of people. I think Battletoads itself is just a very good franchise. That controller trolled a lot of people. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna assume Sinister won't use the same controller that I had. <laughs> just kidding. TMR, who do you think was the best competitor at NWC? I think everyone who you will ask will be telling you the same. John Numbers, man. Honestly, I mean, I can tell you about John Numbers. Uh, he's a Smash Bros. player, tournament player. Uh, he has won Dr. Mario uh, championships. And you saw what he did in the finals, so... And also in Mario Kart, if you put attention to who was John Numbers, you were seeing that from all the people playing there, uh, John Numbers was the one that uh, had better control on Mario Kart. He got unlucky with the, you know, the, the, the blue shells that uh, goes to the first one. But... Uh, but yeah, I, I will agree John Numbers. Even if I had the chance to put myself in that list, uh, I would still say John Numbers. I just he's he's very good. He's very good. He loves games. He has a lot of knowledge. Uh, I am really happy he won as well. You know, probably that is the guy who more deserved winning that man. Uh, yeah. So this is a picture of. Of what? Oh yeah, I forgot that Diddy Kong. I got a Diddy Kong uh, like figure as well from Nintendo. This is the one. I still have it in the box. How did I like my trip? Well, I still have some things to say about the trip. Uh, going there, you know, one flight got delayed like 40 minutes, so not a big deal. But coming back, my flight got delayed again like 40 minutes, the second one. And... Uh, 
And the problem is that the last bus from the airport was leaving 11.20, so I arrived 11.30 to the airport. I mean, I landed in the with the plane, we landed uh, 11.30. So I missed that last bus, because it's a really small airport, they close the airport, and they just basically kick out the people out of the territory of the airport. So, only in Mexico, right? And... Um, well, you know, to don't make long the story what happened there. I was asking like everyone who was living, hey, are you going there? Are you going there? Are you going to my city? Are you? Nobody was going to my city. So at the end, I had to... One of the United Airlines uh, staff members... Uh, he saw me two days before when I was checking in and he saw me now that I was coming back. So I asked him, hey... Can you just lift me up somewhere there so I can take another ta a taxi to the to another like a bus station or something? And that exactly happened. Then it was you know when I when we landed after it was just raining and storming too many. Uh, how do you call the lightnings? So it was really really bad. Yamar, did any of the Nintendo people mention the Nesmania project? Uh, yeah, two people there of Nintendo, uh, they they talked to me, actually it was three people, uh, about that, uh, about Nesmania. I, I didn't got like any deal with Nintendo or anything, but... Uh, at least a few people working there on Nintendo are aware of the project, so um, I don't know. I, I will try my best to, to get in touch with them or something like that. Because, you know, they, they can help me out uh, to make uh, the, the project of Nasmania bigger, definitely. So, uh, but yeah. I hope he got my Sinister One autograph. Bilabong GTV. Yeah, I got it. I got it, man. I got it, man. Come on, Bilabong TV, Sister One can give you an autograph at any AGDQ event. Why do you want me to, to ask a fast specific you know autograph from him? Come on. Jacober, hello, hey Jacober. Don't be sorry man. Uh, you know actually I, I talk Eric uh, from Nintendo. I was like, man, you know, I, I feel sorry for not not getting as far as I would like to, but he said, no, don't be sorry, you know, everyone here, you know, just making it here was, uh, it is huge, so, no, don't, don't, don't be sorry, man, don't be sorry, you did what uh, you could, uh, and, and that's it, don't be sorry, so, don't be sorry, J. Copper, uh, we are blaming the controller, right, J. Copper, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the controller was not very friendly to me, in many aspects, even even moving the the cell the cell the link, it was like I was pressing right and it was going up suddenly. Then I had to very quick like press right again and stuff like that. Then got the bombs, got killed. Thank you so much, really for. I, I killed the blue oct octo rock. I, I killed that uh, blue rock octo rock. The problem is that when I kill it, I kill another uh, octo rock at the same time. So they left me a heart or something like that, and I decided like, oh, screw it up, man. Just let's let's just go to the dungeon. Uh, I didn't even try for the second one. Uh, but yeah, th that happens. Uh, that happened there. So that's a picture of TMR, the Nintendo Championships. That was the breakfast of the of the big day of the event. Uh, I was with Trihex again because nobody was like answering Twitter. None of the other speedrunners. So I went with Trihex to have a breakfast. Yeah, yay! He had some I don't remember. So that is the stateless center. And exactly there was the the building of the event. So I was going with Trihex, so I had to make some pictures of them. So that's Mr. Blurney. 
this like Japanese looking guy it was Chinese actually he has some family from China that is the queue to enter to the to the event so the people I, I should have done a video but I don't know why I was taking pictures but yeah all the people there some of them having like cosplays and stuff like that Those guys, I don't know why they have the red, the red bandanas like in the Contra. How long were you in town? In LA, I was two days. I mean two nights, three days. So here is the runners. We have Cosmo, but we have bananas there in the left. Uh, this this guy, Mit Mitzi, Team C is Team C. Yeah, Team C. That guy, you know, honestly, he he fought bravely in that uh, Metroid uh, run with with the uh, with Sinister One. So we have Trihex. Well, Trihex was like 90% in the in the phone, but man, he's very skilled with his phone. I have to say, uh, and yeah, he was chatting with everyone, so it was really cool. That is Cosmo, right? This guy, I don't remember his name, is Alex... Alex? Well, I, I should remember, wait a second. Ah, well, there might be another pictures. So this guy was... Um, he had a really hot sister. And uh, he was really cool. Very nice. Honestly, I, I love these guys. They were really awesome. So it's Team C. Man, I just—I have him on Twitter. Let, let me just check what is his name. I had him on Twitter. Well, no, probably I cannot. But yeah, I will remember the names eventually. Yeah. Were you beating yourself up after the loss? No, guys. I was just chilling, enjoying. Enjoying with the with the rest of the losers. <laughs> so here is Essentia. I didn't know. She, I didn't know she's. I didn't know she's a mother of three three girls. She she's a mother of three girls and she made it to the championship. So that is amazing. I was. I was glad to meet her. I have never seen her speedruns, to be honest. I need to follow her Twitch channel uh, of Essentia, but yeah, it was great meeting her and all these guys, you know, it's everyone, just really, all these people. So here we were waiting. Oh, this mad mage. <laughs> that guy, eh? You know. I was really impressed of the people there, uh, especially Mad Mage, you know, uh, like talking to the... P not, not, not only is it Mad Mage, there, there was another guy, uh, the older one, but still, uh, Mad Mage was telling me like... Uh, how much he loves Nintendo, he grew up with Nintendo and all that stuff, uh, so it was really great. But Sensha is her brother, huh? Obviously. <laughs> so this was a kind of selfie just before entering to the stage. This guy, the, the one with the sunglasses, this guy. Uh, man, I just... He made it to the third round in the Nintendo World Champions in 1990. Uh, so he was really amazing. Uh, he had a lot of uh, a lot of stories to tell about Nintendo and a really vast knowledge. He has even a podcast uh, and invite us. I was not able to to attend his podcast, so. Uh, yeah, here's a lot of people, a lot of people. Timar, do you think you will try and qualify for Nintendo if they do it again? Bilabong TV, I'm not gonna fly to US just to try to get into the World Championships. 
if I will have to do that, it is really hard and too much money. Uh, and you know, I love, I love retro stuff. So even in the other hand, if Nintendo makes some retro like tournament, I might, I might think about it definitely. But if it's gonna be more games and, and stuff like that, I mean the games are cool, but just I still consider myself retro. So yeah, uh, Fernando. Thank you, BM Chicano, Chicago. Fernando, I think, yeah, that's uh, Fergie. Yeah, the, his name is Fergie. Fernando, yeah, he's Fernando, that's true. I don't remember his name. Nintendo keeps me young. This was it, man. Everybody here. Everybody there. All the legends right here. There it is, man. And the winner, man, just your numbers, man. Well, yeah, great follow, that's true. We have a second one. I just kept looking at my camera, but yeah. And a third one. Well, this one, I don't think I will keep it. Oh, this guy, Jesse, Jesse something. This kid, this kid over there. I like it. Oh man, really, is that a picture I take with the world champion? Well, I'm gonna keep that one in case I don't have a second one. Well, I have a second one. So let's just take it out, this one, eliminate. Yep, that's your numbers, the winner holding his trophy. And me. Do not you took a photo with Miyamoto? No, I didn't. <laughs> He's doing his best strike his fa face. <laughs> well, that, that was in the stage still. I, we, we had to go to the... to one room where we were, but yeah. As with Essentia, with Bananas and other. It was a little bit hard to take the pictures, but yeah, everybody was so happy. I mean, despite of everyone losing, everybody was so happy. Your entrance was amazing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was, man. So there is Essentia and Team C. Man, I like Team C a lot. I didn't, I didn't talk too much to Team C, but man, he has a, a good karma. That's all I can say. I, I really didn't talk too much with Team C, but man, he was just really great. I mean, if I will ever ask for a friend, I think Timsy won't be one of, of the guys who I will be friend with. And this guy, man, Daxon Jackson. <laughs> this guy as well. I just, I remember I wanted to take a picture and I was like, uh, I was gonna do the same, but I was like, man, I can't, I cannot steal it, man. You have a watch, you even in your Nintendo photo, you were like that, so I cannot do that. So I will just smile. Really weird way, but yeah. Hey, hello, GC. I have the most stylish cat. Well, <laughs> yeah, th th these people was really great, honestly. I will have Arin there, and, and Cosmo, and TMR, and Sinister Won. Sinister was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> so we have the people there. Yeah, they, they definitely needed some face cam. It's just, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I was like, what? Have you seen a tracking with a hat? Yeah, man, I, I like this one. I was like, man, you know what? Just put my hat on. <laughs> that was really great. I think we take a second one. Yeah, that one. This one is a lot better. I should tweet this one in particular. Try hat, man. Instead of try hard, try hat. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you cannot lie, load the stream. Oh, come on, JC. Well, sorry to hear that, JC. Yeah, this one is even better, man. And I don't know why it looks like uh, track has like either something, like an, an ear or something. <laughs> 10 10. Yeah, I agree with the opium. You know, my face is like, what the fuck, you? You stole my heart! You stole my heart, yo! <laughs> yeah, this photo is amazing. I, I, I need to tweet it, man. I really need to tweet it. <laughs> well, one day I will tweet it. Not tonight. But yeah. Uh, so, to woo. Good. Thank you so much for the two months, man. Thank you. Man, whoever... Oh, I was saying whoever took this picture, but it was me. Great. I did a great picture there. <laughs> Everybody listening up instructions from Eli. He's like, guys, we have to leave this scenario. Please don't stand here. Please do not stand here. We cannot take pictures, so just go out. No, it was not like that, but yeah. I mean... It was, it was good at least they they I mean the, the instruction was like nobody can take a, um, out his phone or anything if anyone sees anyone phone uh, that person will be disqualified that was the instruction but well after everybody got disqualified and the tournament finished I think there was no harm on, on taking some photos so yeah these are some photos there I was you know who took this picture? Yeah. Um, I was so sad with my sad face. The problem is that he didn't... Like, I mean, he had to stand a little bit back. Like me being... Being sad. Losing there. <laughs> yeah, a few pictures, but... Um, but yeah, you know, it looks a lot better if you take it from... A little farther. So I took this one, but yeah. The other person is not a photographer, it's a gamer. But he has no style. So I need to send these pictures also to these people. And this one moved a little bit. So was not that great. That one is better, so definitely I like this one. <laughs> and Blacks and Jackson. Take the sign. They will notice. <laughs> sure, man. We oh, are really big, that one. I also took one with Essentia. I mean, like, nobody has a phone, almost no one, so I was taking pictures, so I need to send the pictures to all these people. Well, that was me taking a bad picture. I will keep it, man. Welcome. Welcome. Mexican well, I will take out this one. Samanash! Thank you! So, well, I like the, the, the baby Joshis there in the back of the scenario. So this the one the, the one person that you see in the left behind that was like the the main he was not the producer, or the, 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 he was the main director of the whole event or something like that. Yeah, he's a really nice guy, man. Just like, you can you can talk to him, I mean, if you like games, like forever, man. You can talk to him forever. I took that picture to John Numbers. You know, he didn't have his phone, of course, he was on stage all the time. And he was like, hey, can you take me a picture with my 3DS? I took a 3DS picture with his 3DS, but of course this one is a lot better. You cannot compare a 3DS picture from one with my phone, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is the winner, ladies and gentlemen, John Numbers. Very well deserved that uh, trophy, very well deserved. It was heavy as hell, it was like, like 10 pounds weight, all that trophy, it was, it was really really heavy so that's a picture with Jesse 
some people don't know him, but yeah. You see? That was after after the tournament. So what John Numbers is doing? Of course he's playing his 3DS. You see now really that guy honestly, you know, from everyone he deserved winning that man. Just It's a gold Mario amiibo. <laughs> well we were debating if it was completely gold or not. It just it was so heavy really. The after party. Well, they wanted to do like interviews for Disney or something. This guy it's a streamer, uh, the one that Tracker is talking to is uh, Dark Blues. That is the guy. Uh, he speedruns Mega Man X, but he's a very good friend with uh, John, with John Numbers. So this guy knows about speedrunners. He's part of Speedrunners Life as well. So I, I, I told him, listen, you really need to bring John Numbers to the Mystery Tournament. You really have to. Ah, uh, yeah, John Numbers was like. Something, something interested, so maybe he will join. Well, that is not a very good picture. I will still send it in case they want it, but... Some cool pictures, but still, is 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 better the one that DK posted in his in his tweet. That is the original one with Trihex fighting there. Really amazing picture with Sinestro as a referee. <laughs> Trihex was so disappointed that we had to wear those shirts because he was like, "Man, I was just like eating very well, packing and going to the gym all the week just to to, to look good, but." He couldn't make it. I mean, he couldn't have a, a shirt. So here are the guys. All these guys are awesome. Yeah, Trikex is, is a nice guy, definitely. I don't know why Bot TMR looks more like his brother in pictures. I do. Like my brother. Yeah, I, I honestly, I'm not very photogenic in, in pictures. I am not. Um, I am not. I'm really not. Like, my, I, I don't have a natural smile. Like. <laughs> so that was the K Trihex and Sinister One. And then this picture, which there is a finger there from the camera cameraman. Well, yeah, this is the the one that got posted on Twitter. Just another angle. It's not the the best. <laughs> yeah, he was excited about wearing a tank top. <laughs> well, didn't work for him. So that is Sinister and Cosmo, right there, and a uh, and Trihex uncle in the left, <laughs> man. I was always making pic uh, pictures, jokes about that, that Trihex uncle in the in the frame in the left. That's oh my god. So that was me, Paki. Yeah, Paki was. I was always borrowing his his 3ds. Did you like the main commentator? Well, Peter, I have not heard uh, what he was saying. I couldn't listen anything there in the back. It was just so hard to understand what he was saying. I have not seen the championship video, so once I see it, I will be able to answer your question. <clears throat> Cosmo looks even more skinny in cooperation. Uh, yeah, it, it looks really skinny, I don't know why, but uh, I remember at, at GDQ 2014, he was not looking that skinny as now. So, it has been one and a half year, but yeah. The close up with Cosmo. Cosmo. So, some pictures with celebrities. That is your numbers. Cosmo and Trihex. Bananas on her phone. This. This is the, the picture where has everybody's signature except. Uh, except Jovenshire. 
but I think everybody everybody put his John numbers okay <laughs> well I, I didn't knew his signature it looks awesome numbers your numbers we have team C right there Essentia Sinister One I was I was telling Sinister One man where is your glove man you need to put a glove there oh yeah I should <laughs> then he, he draw a, a glove in a napkin to, to make sure he doesn't screw up on, on, on top of the shirt so that, that is the story about that glove we have Ferguson, Matt Mage, Bidwell. Well, not sure who's Bidwell. We have Erin. Oh wow, that is Erin. Okay. We have Cosmo there. We have probably the best signature, Strahex, with a kind of Joshi face. Swag, Strahex. Bananas. We have Paki there. We have TMR, that's a cactus with a sombrero, kind of. Jackson Blackson, I like his letters. Wow, it looks good. It looks like Michael Jackson, but yeah, Jackson Blackson. <laughs> Mr. Blarney, he's a doctor. Yeah, so everybody signed this shirt, which was a... Uh, was Tinsy's sister or girlfriend or something like that. So it's a shame nobody had a shirt of this one because this one looks awesome too. Um, yeah, me neither. It looks like a rat. What Arin, Arin tried to draw. Arin or Arin or whatever it was. So here I am with with Fursi Go Fernando. And there with with Erin, Arin, is is Erin or Arin? Is is Arin right? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Yeah, yeah. Nothing at all. And here we have some pictures with the non-speed runners. <laughs> Mr. Blarney, Mr. Wong, Matt Mage. Team C, all the people there, BGM, so it's really bad when the pictures are a little bit mu mu moved, but, uh, but well, shit happens, right? Okay, and here is uh, John Numbers' room, uh, after after everything we went to have dinner and we end up in the room with John Numbers playing that was Cosmo and and John Numbers uh, playing Smash Bros. What a coincidence man in that one they were trying characters but numbers won if you wanna know who won <laughs> and that was me there with the with outer outer blues no, and there's there's ants in my room. Yeah, it's shocking, man! It's shocking. They they really love games a lot. Oh, this was when uh, some Mexican uh, people, um, Alonso and Adrian Link. Uh, these guys are from uh, Level Up, so they went to cover the event of E3, and you know they interview me. So one of these days it's gonna be the interview out there in Spanish. Uh, yes, Enig Revere, I, I try. I beat I beat Splatoon uh, before the event. So that is TMR there. That is TMR again. Well, I, I will take out this picture. I tweet this picture. This was a good one, I think. Sure. Well, my phone always makes bad pictures sometimes, so I will just remove that one. And this picture is the best, man. It's just a black one. What is that? Okay, so here we have Lincoln's and uh, Mr. Blurney. 
At the airport, uh, Lincoln's made it there to meet me, to meet TMR, the Mexican runner. So yeah, he made... I, I liked his shirt a lot. It's really awesome, that shirt. I love it. I just... The Piranha Plant there, Mario playing some music, kind of Mario 2 style. So yeah, that is Lincoln's right there. He's actually at the event of E3 right now. But yeah, that is a picture. Really nice. He made it there. He actually, he actually gave me two cards for the Nesmania collection, which I have right here. So after the pictures and videos thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it probably. So that was a picture of a burrito, which I should late. Nobody wants to see a burrito that I have from Bull Burrito. From from burritos ah that was agdq 2015 this guy guys this guy you better remember his face not mine uh, this one he's a uh, captain drake captain drake is just one of the best blind players i have ever seen you know if somebody was able maybe to beat the john numbers was Captain Drake in that Super Mario Maker? I mean, I might have a chance, but Captain Drake is just <laughs> well. The thing I, I I don't know how good John Numbers it is, but uh, that's why I want to invite him as well, you know, as a participant, so he can have fun and we can know like how good exactly is his level in general. But Captain Drake, man, just you know, I even say it freely in my stream. I got the opportunity to go to the Nintendo World Championships, but, you know, I was saying I'm not the best player in the world, I know that. Uh, I do play good, yes, I do play good, but there's more skilled players, and one of those is is easily this one, Captain Drake, really. Captain Drake just... It's an icon, guys. Uh, uh, if somebody can post his his actual channel, uh, you should follow him. He used to do speedruns of Shovel Knight, and I think that's it. But it doesn't matter. He's just the best blind player I have ever seen. Uh, his pizza is very good as well, but probably Captain Drake is still my favorite. It's just like it's invisible blind. <laughs> yeah, Mephistos is another very good blind player. And he knows exactly what he's talking about. You know, it's just... I, I, I think, you know... It's not who wins the tournament of the mystery tournament. The question is always like, who beat Captain Drake? What about the guy that does NES Big Blind Toad? Uh, oh, Big 20 Blind. Who made the Big 20 Blind? Oh, the, there was the other guy, yeah, what, what was his name, it was... I mean, he was... He was blind in some of them, but uh, he knew uh, uh, some others. He was doing really great. Uh, no, it was not Prejudice Jake Polk, it was somebody else, it was somebody else. Who was the guy? Uh... Yeah, I mean, Mephistos, I have not the honor to play with Captain Drake, like, in the same actual bracket. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm sure he will kick my ass as well. Uh, yeah, at the, at the event, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, in the meantime, we just put that picture. So, I have the videos. Uh, but I, I don't think they're here. Maybe they're here. No. What about here? Niente. Okay. Where I can find the videos here? Download documents. Clipboard. Blah blah blah. Those movies. 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 Screencast. Nope. Twitter folder. Well, no. Nope. I don't know how to get the movies out of my phone. How do I get the movies out of the phone? Can somebody tell me? Android data. Well, no. Nope. 
Ah, ninety, ninety, ninety is good. Yeah, ninety was the guy who was blind. So ninety is good as well. I mean, as a blind player, yeah, he's very good. So that was the other guy. Uh, wait, this is not. What? What? Here. So guys, uh, um. Cannot get the videos. Where are the videos? DCM camera. <sighs> Does anyone knows where where uh, Android phones store the videos? Like just to grab them or something? Oh, thank you, Clan Shoes. The fact that Cosmo never played New Super Mario Bros. Def definitely hurt him a lot, man. That's why uh, John Numbers, he was really great. DCM. Camera. Oh! <laughs> I should have just scrolled down. Well, uh, okay, let me see what do we have here. Oh, that is not... This is not. Well, well, we have some pictures, so yeah. Just I'm making sure there's no 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 videos that you're no, like not allowed to see. Hehe. <laughs> well, we can start with this video, I guess. If you don't know who he is, he's my nephew. He's my brother's son. So yeah, that, that's my nephew playing Super Mario Bros. He made it to the 4-1. The Mexican nephew. Yeah, those are my two nephews. Uh, these are some videos behind the scenes. I was pretty excited when I won. I would say like a 9 to a 10. I'm not exactly sure. And I wasn't too shy. Everyone was showering me with congratulations. It felt really good overall. And meeting Mr. Miyamoto, how did that feel? Because he's very That very was, cool. actually, that was a little breathtaking. It was great to see Miyamoto for the first time in person like that and shake his hand. Thank him personally for all the games he's given me over the years. Wow, that's cool. What's your favorite Nintendo game? Um, it's a tie. I mentioned this on the ballot as well. I like Kid Icarus Uprising and Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS. Wii U and 3DS is awesome. Thank you. Alright, thanks. Great. That's it? Yeah. Alright. Nice. Good job. Oh. Alright. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Nicholas. Okay, Nicholas. You're gonna interview me? Alright, let me get my stuff off. Oh wait, you're gonna meet you too, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh my god, this kid never did. Are you doing a video? <laughs> 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 Just showing the people. Oh, there's more. Let's see one more. Then I think we should have a few of the guys just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah
Yeah, sorry. These are the runners, the runners, the players, contestants, participants. Oh, is this video? Me too. Yeah. You're doing video? Yeah. No. yeah, I'm doing a video. Tell us about your PhD doctorate that you have. You're a doctor, Mr. Yeah, uh, Marble. Mr. Blarney. Blarney. It should actually be Dr. Blarney now, but you know, I've had the screen name for like nearly 20 years. Why am I going to change it now? That is true, man. Right? Okay. You know, things stick with you. And even though I'm a doctor now, I'm still Mr. Blarney. Yeah. So, good luck, good job in the tournament. And yeah, great, it was great, great playing with thing. you. And, you know, yeah, it was great meeting further. you, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. it's a shame, but maybe next year, no next 25 years? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right? Hey. Mad Mage, man. Sorry, this is gone. You have really good skills at uh, Smash Bros. Uh, you did great. You fight against the best, probably. So, you did a great job. So, <laughs> what, is, what do you feel about being a participant in this tournament? Um, it's hard to even say like how much Nintendo means to me in just like few sentences. Like I grew up on Nintendo. I, Nintendo has influenced me in so many ways. I, and to be able to just you know do this with Nintendo, take part in this championships they're holding, it's um, it's like one of the nicest gifts anyone's ever given me. That is true. I completely agree with you. And the uh, awesome job at the Nintendo World Championships. Uh, I hope to be in touch with you. Um, and yeah, congrats, man. Congrats. Certainly. Thank you. We don't care. <laughs> well, I, I think I have one more or two more. Well, so this is how the the room of the contestants looks like. I don't know. They just talk to each other. I don't know how to flip the video, so you will have to turn your face like that. Unless I open. Well, let, let me just open the the software I need. Premiere Pro. Just gonna open it. Yeah, I, I need to flip the video, just, I don't know, I really don't have a clue, like, exactly when it does record that way. What? Fuck. Oh, my neck! No, you know, I, I'm gonna try to switch it for you, you just, just to make it, like, easier. Man. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Address. So just everything for you guys. Everything for you. Where is the the video? I think it's this one. Well, import media maybe. Come on, if you work, I will be happy, cause I'm happy. Well, probably it doesn't read uh, directly from the phone or something. Let me try to copy the video to the, to the desktop or something. Oh, now definitely copies. Well, actually, it's not here. Mm. Also, here I'm supposed to be able to rotate this somehow. Okay, guys. Alt 3 on the number pad. Alt 3. Anything else? Alt 3. Great. Well... That doesn't work, man. How do I rotate this? Well... Oh, there it is.
Oh. Ähm. <lacht> Sequence Settings. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm doing okay, I guess. I could save it in theory, but we just want to watch, so... Just gonna make it like that, and we will enjoy, hopefully. Well, so this is how the, the room of the contestants looks like. Everybody just talking to each other. Everybody here, some people watching the TV. So everybody, this is the after party we have DKs in the Oh, in VLC, okay. Let me open it in VLC then. Well, so this is how the, the room of the contestants looks like. Everybody just saw... Doesn't work, they're all three guys. Doesn't work. I press Alt 3 and it doesn't switch at all. How do you switch this? Num lock. Well, I just disabled the num lock and it doesn't work. Alt 3, Alt 3, doesn't work. Put the num lock back. Well, I can see it just do something, but it doesn't. No, Alt 3 just. Look, if I open it like that, I press Alt 3 and. Bloop! That's what it does, man! Okay, you can go to video tools. Effects and filters, video effects, where is video effects? Well, probably effects and filters. Video effects, aha. Uh -huh. Video effects, rotate by 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you. Cause I'm happy clap alone. We're gonna save there. Now that we rotated the... Ouch. Thank you guys. You know everything. I, I, I know nothing. I'm talking about I know nothing. I, I just watched the final of Game of Thrones. Oh my. Oh my god. There we go. Well, so this is how the the room of the contestants looks like. Everybody just talking to each other. Everybody here, some people watching the TV. So everybody, this is the after party. We have DK, Sinister One. We have Sinister One and girlfriend. Are you video or? It's video, it's video. It's video. I'm just passing. Are you doing this for your, uh, for your stream or what? What are you doing? Well, I don't have a clue, you know. Whatever. Whatever the people who watch it. For the memories? Well, we can, we, 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 we can talk about it. So, you know what? You might have had some bad luck in Zelda, but you had the best entrance on stage. What? Nobody's ever going to forget that. I did something good in my yeah. life oh, yeah. in the tournament. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you did really great as well. I got lucky with the first team that I was put on. They all knew how to play Splatoon. They carried me. You're good lucky. Okay. That is true. I got lucky, and then they and then they put. They're like, he hasn't been lucky enough yet. Let's put Super Metroid also. <laughs> So you got twice lucky. I, thought, I was so lucky, I thought that the next elimination was going to be Punch-Out. 
when they did balloon fight. Well, yeah, actually, like, Bonchao, so Bonchao, Bonchao was missing. missing. They're gonna keep. They're just gonna keep going with it. You know? yeah. Well, that was amazing. Great job. I anyway, it was like a setup. When you put some so I'm going. That was semester one, DK, and Mrs. Semester one. <laughs> I don't remember the answer. So here we have Trihex trying to fight with his phone. I don't know what's going on there, but looks like a Twitch channel. Who are you watching or spying or... Me? Yeah, what's that? This is my own chat. This is my chat. Oh, it's his chat. People in my chat are lurking. Everybody is hyped. They're putting Trihex faces, but I have the real one. <laughs> okay, we have the winner here. He's having a little chat with Cosmo. Well, I don't know what to say, just what, what congrats, am I man. To say? I, 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 I have a perfect word. Man, you have to join the mystery tournament of Piron's life. <laughs> you don't have a clue what is that, but you just oh, you play. AGDQ, I just. No, no, no. You just, you just play games for the very first time, and that's it. I mean, uh, it's, it's a blind run. It's a blind run. I'm going to humiliate myself on competition. Yeah, the stream it, I think. What, with a new game or what? It's no. Just a mystery tournament. It's a mystery tournament. It can be games from NES, SNES, Sega Master System. It can be any game. Not much like, of a speed run, actually. No, it's not speed run. It's just it's just blind plays. It's blind play. It's like what, what you did in what you did in the final is exactly the same. Oh. It's exactly oh, the same. Like a Mario Maker tournament. Yeah, basically. It's basically like that, like that. but just. Random. But it's a random game. I, when and where would it be? I, I mean, the the last one was one month ago. So the next one. Well, let. Well, so this is how... Yeah, I had to cut the video to explain him in detail like, what, what it was. And, you know, since I was in the distance and I couldn't like be talking to him, like having the phone on his face like that, I had to stop the video. I was gonna go to everyone, like, but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think it would be a big deal for, for the people in Speedrun's life in the Mystery Tournament to have him there. Uh, he didn't seem interested. Actually, Domino, the destitute, he's not interested in speed runs. Uh, definitely, I know that because he told me uh, himself. But about the mystery tournament, he might be interested. The, the big problem is he has never ever streamed his life, so there's a lot of things uh, he need to go through, uh, like starting to know how to stream and and stuff like that. But he has a friend that can help him, and I will help him, and he. And he, if he needs, uh, he just doesn't know that he is a speedrunner. I don't think, no, you know, <laughs> I meet him and he gets really excited. Uh, Essentially, I was disappointed. Just jerk as the, I, I couldn't, you know, <laughs> no, actually, you know, uh, Essentia told me like, uh, like, like to shh. I mean, to, to shut up because they were filming uh, and I was making noise. You know, it's like, you should cut your video or something like that, she said. And I, I was like, I don't care. <laughs> so it was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. Then I just resumed the video as soon as they finished. I don't remember. But yeah. Did you qualify for Best Buy? Mm. Oh, yeah, he, he, he did. He did from, from the Best Buy in, in New York. He had a really high score. He had only one chance to try the, the the NES Championship mode, and he got like five millions or something points. So he did really great. Uh, John qualified, and he he really deserves that uh, win. That's all I can say. I had one more video, I think. The last one. This was. In John Numbers Room. Enjoy it, guys. I like it. And this is exactly. Oh man, again I did the same shit. Why? Okay, so it was here, 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 he. Oh, there was her. Transform. Ah, okay, it was transformed that is why. Okay, I, I got it right. Look at that face, man. Look at that face! Ah, uh, oh, banana! <laughs> that face, well, I will put it from the beginning. So enjoy this one.
Yeah, private video. I don't have the, the permission from Cosmo or John to post this, but it's mine. <laughs> this is exactly how you end up a championship, having a match between Cosmo and John. <laughs> Dark, oh, dark, blues. dark blues, yeah, dark blues. Oh, okay. Sorry, just, I, I keep forgetting the name. But yeah, he's he told everything about Splatter to John. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Splatoon. He knows about that Splatoon life. Oh, yes, it's not Splatter. Splatoon, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. He needs some love. He was basically the manager of John. So, yeah, you know. I'm basically your agent. If you wanna get in contact with John, just. For him, dark Talk blues, CX, yeah. A in Twitch, yeah. On Twitch, yep. So, yeah, see you guys. Alright. Well, so this. I like it! Oh man, thank you for telling me I was muted. I always forget to mute my mic. So I was saying that, yeah, that that's that's pretty much. It was a short one uh, there, but uh, yeah, I, I think they released like the newer characters right after the after the tournament of the Nintendo World Championship. So you know, like. Uh, <laughs> John numbers were like really excited, like, like a kid, and he was like, Man, there's new characters, pump, 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 downloading them, and you know, he was like so happy to have those characters. But yeah, that, that was it. You, I, I, I couldn't record a lot because they, once they brought us to that like a waiting room, they didn't give us the chance like to have the phone out or anything like that. So that's why probably not many people has like pictures or or stuff from that event but it was amazing it was amazing really really being part of their uh, you know like meeting all these people all these people I mean I met the speedrunners but you know the talks with speedrunners are so different than the talks with with these gamers uh, in general so I have learned that I know nothing about games that was the first thing I learned it's like, hey guys, blah, blah. you know, when you shut up and you cannot even say a word when two people is talking because you have nothing to report because you're not in their level of knowledge. I was myself put into that situation many times and I was just like listening carefully. But oh, actually, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from all the people. Uh, I, I learned one thing. Um, I had to buy the Wii U for... for for the tournament uh, to practice and um, to don't be blind uh, still well happen what happened in the tournament aside of that uh, I, I I play the, I beat that Splatoon game and I play a little bit of Mario Kart 8 and, and you know the games are cool like I cannot say the games are bad the games are really cool very well done you know it's just so different from old games and the uh, and you know they're, they're really cool. It's just I have like second thoughts about modern games now. It's just uh, it's just a different kind of. It, I I think it's like an evolution or something. I I want so badly to stick to the NES, but uh, but you know meeting these people, I notice that I'm missing so much uh, of the evolution of games and stuff like that that uh, you know if i'm a streamer a gamer or something like that i i should start like doing research of of people uh, of people of you know of games consoles uh, I, I was asking there in the room like what does amiibo I it is you know i didn't have a clue what is was that just it's a lot of things that i'm not very familiarized with that honestly you know if you say like uh, you know I, I am a, a person who you know like a god gamer or something like that uh, you know meeting these people 
I, I it just shocked me that I really know nothing about games. I know nothing about games. That is what I know. <laughs> I know nothing about games. I like a Mexican speedrunner, female speedrunner, black speedrunner. That's how they found TMR essential. <laughs> and Trihex, come on, Mystics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was invited by Nintendo, so you know that thing was really great. Did Nintendo ask which emulator you use? <laughs> no, they didn't ask. You know, we play with original cards, guys. Come on, this money is a legit, uh, a legit uh, project. So we have some cards that I got. Uh, so let's just let's just do it this way. Well, actually, no, or yes. Yeah, let's just 